Hey Bruce Biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming, and today we are going to be building a modern house. You guys saw a 360 view of it before we began. Um, if you guys like this house, let me know. I also want to show you guys two other houses, so I want to come over here and show you guys this house right here. If you guys like this house, make sure you guys click on it, and it'll take you to a link to start to build it. If you guys like this house, click on it like uh, a link's on the screen right now or in the description so the first one I showed you was house one this is house two if you guys are looking in the description if you guys are on a mobile device uh, if you're on a PC you guys can see a link on the screen but we're not building them houses today we're building the one that we saw a 360 view of so what we're going to do is find a nice area to start building this I'm going to start since if you guys have a road like I do I'm gonna go five blocks off the road so one two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, I'm going to place a block, leaving a five block gap between the first block and the road. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So the very first wall is 21 blocks long. This is the front area, so this would be the entranceway of the house. We're going to go 11 blocks. We're going to count this corner block. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then what I'm going to do is connect them, making a giant rectangle. There we go. And they are connected. What I'm going to do now is dig out the grass flooring or whatever flooring that you guys have. And then I'm going to replace it with the flooring that I'm going to be going that I'm going to be using for this build which I'm going to be using spruce wood. But first I need to dig out all this grass. So while we're waiting, how are you guys doing? If you guys are doing great, thank you. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you guys are enjoying it so far and the information that has been, get, has been given to you in the video. Um, make sure you guys check out the Just Five Guys, Just Five Guys on uh, Facebook and Twitter. There will be a link to it in the description of this video as well. Make sure you guys definitely like us on Facebook and follow us. It would really mean a lot to us and help us out. So now I'm going to go get a full spruce wood plank and I'm going to start to fill this in. Okay, not too much more to go, guys. We just have, like, half left. If you guys want me to build more modern houses, let me know, and uh, I will get right on that and start building more modern houses for you, even maybe start a modern house series for you guys, or even a modern city series, custom made for just five guys. But uh, it depends on how many likes I get on this video and how many views. That would depend on how uh, if I'm going to continue or not. So what you guys are going to need is to go back to your snow blocks, bringing the whole build to three blocks total height. Actually, we're going to go four blocks total height. So just keep going around the snow like this until we reach four blocks total height. Okay, I'm almost done with three blocks total height right now. Actually, I want to go back to the house just to make sure how many blocks high it is. It is, in fact, uh, five, so that's what I wanted. So what you guys are going to do is, again, take the house to four blocks total height. I'm on three. Now I'm on four. Sorry about that. I normally don't do that. Is I normally don't fly back, as you guys know. And here we go. Okay, now on the fifth block, what we're going to do is just do one line like this. And then we're going to keep going back and forth, covering the whole roof with snow. You guys could use quartz if you guys would like. I probably should have told you guys that uh, before we began.
Okay, so we only have a little bit more to go to fill this in. I probably should drink a speed potion, but it, you know, it's whatever. It doesn't take very long to actually do this. And you guys are getting to watch me do it step by step, and you guys aren't falling behind. So that's all what we, that's definitely what we need to keep this going in this routine. And we only have one more layer, so this layer and then the next layer, and then we are good to go, guys. What you guys are going to need next is orange uh, wool. I have to find the middle. I'm just going to randomly mark it. I think that's probably the middle, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think that is. There should be ten on this side, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that was pretty good. But um, in the center, it should be... So basically, you're going to do it, place a block like I just did there, and then count to make sure there's ten blocks on each side. And then on that block, if it's correct, you guys are going to place two blocks on the side and delete the center while making a frame shape like this. Here we go. We're going to go three blocks out like that. And we're going to make a like a U shape like that. What we're going to do is just take this back by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Bring it da down to five blocks. Uh, yep, that's five. Now, it doesn't really matter how many blocks you guys do, it's just in fact that this is how it's easiest, is just to do it like that, that way we don't go too far. So there should be six, five blocks on each side, so that's five, that's five. So what we're going to do is do that again, go like this, and then go like that. We're going to go out by three blocks here up by one so far. I'm going to try to connect these right here, right there, so that five out was actually the correct amount that we needed. So basically now, since I already have it marked, I could just go like this, drag it all the way over, and finally connect it to the end, like that. Oh. And do our little U shape. Now what we're going to do is get our full spruce wood planks and we're just going to go fill this center line in really quickly. I forgot to do our little thing on this side. Then the next thing that we are going to do is raise all the orange by another block high to make a total of two blocks high. Okay, only a little bit more to go guys, last line, and then we will be done. What you guys going to want to do on all three of them is come in the center like this, bring up the jungle leaves, and then place a wood spruce slab on top. We're going to do that to each and every single one of these little orange rods or little holder pieces. Now last one is over here. We're going to bring up the jungle leaves. Then we're going to cap it with spruce wood. What we're going to do now is get stone. And we're just going to place a square piece right here. And right here. We're going to then ditch the stone. We're going to get rails. We're going to surround it like this. Then we're going to ditch the rails. Then we are going to get signs. And then surround the stone with blank signs like that. So you're just going to place them and then if you're on Xbox, press B. If you're on PC, just keep pressing cancel. And there you guys go. You guys have two little AC units and I'm going to go to sleep so that way we can see and I'll be back at, you know, when I'm all done and it'll be daytime. Okay guys, I am back and it is daytime. What we are going to do now is go in the bag and do some more orange wool. So what we're going to do is start right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth block, we're going to place a block there. We're going to head in on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to skip a block, then that. Then we're going to skip a block, leaving a one block gap, leaving five blocks on that end. Bring it up like this. Go like that. We're only going to go two blocks out on these ones right here, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're still going to bring it to the mat the same height, but instead of bringing, you know, a horseshoe down here, what we're going to do is just add it right there on the white. 
Then we're going to double layer these up. We are going to get our spruce, break that orange, and layer it up like that. I'm going to use slabs, that way I just save a little bit of time. It's not much. So, there we go. I'm going to then get our spruce, I mean our, junk, our glowstone, break a hole, then get jungle leaves, build up like we did before, then cap it before it hits the top with uh, spruce wood slabs. And I accidentally broke that, so I need to get grass. Jungle leaves like this. There we go. What you guys are going to want to do is, I, I didn't mean to grab black wool, I meant to grab gray wool. Let me do that. There we go. Gray wool right there. I'm going to go like this. There we go. And I'm going to go like that. Actually, no, one more up, sorry. And right there. So it should look just like this. Then you guys are going to break that for a door. You guys are going to break... You guys are going to place two jungle leaves here. You guys are going to break this here to place windows. If you guys are on PC, you guys don't have to use ice. You guys can use cyan glass, and that will work just as well. You guys are going to break right here and then place a window right there as well. Next thing that you guys are going to want to do is get your clay. You guys are going to want to go over like that. Break three. Place in ice place in jungle leaves, get your spruce wood slabs, do a trim work like this, and then you guys are going to want to place spruce jungle leaves, I mean uh, jungle leaves in the top of it right there. You guys are going to do the same thing over here, so over by four, down by two, break these three, place in your window piece, then you guys are going to place uh, jungle leaves. Okay guys, if you guys are using ice, you guys cannot place glowstone like right here, but if you guys are on um, PC and you guys are using glass you guys can because it you know obviously won't melt and snow will not melt uh, if it's put on if glowstone is next to it it's not a property in Minecraft that it actually happens so I just want to make sure that that is clear what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna break a hole right here we're gonna break a hole we're gonna get clay and we're gonna double layer that up like this we're gonna do it on both sides we are going to break these two here and fill them in. So right here, fill them in. What we are going to do is we are going to do it like, like this. Before you hit the end, leave a one block overhang like that. Break that. Put in your ice. Put down your jungle leaves like so. Put in your spruce wood slabs like that. Do a double uh, trim work on it like that exactly and what actually I messed up um, the clay is actually supposed to be one block higher like that that's my fault then we are supposed to put jungle leaves in there so raise this up right here by one break that right there go here break all I meant place all the way down break all this right here put in your window piece place in your jungle leaves like so put in spruce wood uh, slabs trim. If you guys are having trouble keeping up, feel free to pause the video at any time and resume when you guys are ready. And you guys can watch me break and place blocks uh, and basically as fast as or slow as you guys want me to. What you guys are gonna wanna do is get spruce wood stairs, place one there, place one there upside down. You guys no longer need them. We're gonna do this on both sides. We're gonna go like this. Place jungle leaves, break here, place an ice for a window. We're going to do it on this side too. We're going to place that there, do that. Then we're going to fly all the way over here and do the same thing that we just did before on the other side, but over here. Right there, break it, place in your window pieces. Go up, go over, break right here. Place in your window pieces place in your jungle leaves and there you guys go except we are not done we need uh, just a couple more blocks we need stone we need doors we need signs and we need rail uh, pieces so what we're going to do now is place four right here we're gonna build another AC unit by basically placing four blocks of stone surrounding it by a blank trap uh, blank 
signs and then placing a circle of frails on top. We're going to do it here as well. So placing our signs, then our rails, and there we go. Now what you guys are going to want to do is place the doors from the outside of the build so it doesn't leave a weird indentation in the door right here. You guys are going to want to do the same thing. And right here, you guys can actually dig all this out um, right there. Even right here, dig that out there, dig right here. You guys are then going to need glowstone, jungle leaves, and sto uh, stone, I'm sorry. Go like this, then place a line. Break right here, place glowstone, 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 fill this in with jungle leaves like this. We're going to go to the back door, uh, yard now. We're going to break here, all right here, and even right there, and there. We're going to go right here. We're going to take this out by four blocks. This is uh, technically three, then this is four. So what we're going to do is just start filling this in with stone. You guys are going to want to break there, here, where the door is, on the corner, back right here. All them holes you're going to want to fill in with glowstone. Then you guys are going to want to click, uh, place your jungle leaves like so and bam there you guys go you guys are done make sure you guys subscribe to just five guys gaming or just five guys uh there will be a link to it in the description of this video if you guys are uh you know watching it on just five guys you know thank you if you guys are not then you know uh make sure you guys do check out just five guys on youtube and subscribe to them it would really help us out a lot bye guys